Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday. Traveling this week, so it's a little bit sporadic. Last day of the month of May. Can you believe it? 30 days from the mid year mark already. Where the fuck did this year go? Um, wow. Let's, uh, let's have a look at what is going on here post debt news and confidence news and a lot of stops uh, been taken on this side of the table uh, got stopped out in dollar yen on the way up to um, 140.90 got stopped out in euro uh, on the way back down through 106 um, still, still looking for the turn, but now, now we buy, we're not buying dips anymore, we need more confirmation for this turn, so today maybe up through 107.44, uh, is a good place to try, dollar shorts again, dollar yen through 139.50, although the dollar yen bar looks very bearish, right, so BOJ kind of squawking a bit yesterday, uh, got a bit of risk off, uh, that, that's that's a turn bar typically, but still we're gonna want confirmation, so we're gonna wait for one thirty nine fifty to try shorts again. Uh, this also dovetails with I think our chart of the day, which is sterling yen, um, two dojis, we're in the one seventies. Um, those of you playing at home, this is rarefied air um, for sterling yen in recent years. Of course, sterling in came from 250. Those of you who have been trading for more than more than 19 minutes will remember 2015, we we're 195, but also like pre-GFC, this shit came from 250. And those will remember in October 2008, if you were trading sterling in, um, which we were. I uh, needed a diaper um, for that. It was like 500 points. We were break trading sterling in in 50s, and uh, you know you'd you'd hit the entry and you'd be 150 points in the money. You'd be like, "Oh fuck, this is good." And then you'd put your stops in, and the market would rip your face off and go 200 points against you, and then drop 500 points, and go. It was just Manic. Um, never forget that. We're trading out of the offices in London. And I literally was like pooping myself. Uh. <laughs> anyway, Sterling Yen. Uh, let's go back to uh, what we're talking about today. So, two absolute indecisions after a big move up. Uh, looks like risk sentiment is turning. Uh, I'm not really bearish or bullish cable here it's pretty neutral so this is probably going to be dollar yen driven drill down to this this low is 94 and a half and this low is 98 on the four hourlies you know then if you want to really drill down on the hourlies you could do this right this is probably the point um, everybody's watching so bang this one. So what's that? You know, comes in right around the figure. There will also be uh, a certain amount of monkeys out there who will perceive this as a head and shoulders, left shoulder. Here's head. He kind of looks like Bert from the Muppets, right? This head and shoulders. Bert from the Muppets, who's been doing CrossFit. He's got very strong shoulders. Um. Anyway, if you want to. Um, trade Burt's head and shoulders, or if you want to trade the dojis, the indecisiveness of these dojis at the top of a range, uh, be my guest. Sterling Yen through 173 looks um, fairly interesting. Let's go to Dollar Czar. I mean, how fucked are these guys? Uh, 20 kind of has to trade. There's just going to be all kinds of derivative shit up there, so if you're going to try and fade this, at least wait for 20 to trade. Um, I don't know, 
Uh, I don't know why you would want to sell Dollar Czar, although it is stretched, obviously. Um, we've talked about this sad situation so many times, it's, it's not even worth it, I guess. But the reason I bring this up is there's a whole load of knock-ins, knockouts at 20. Um, and so it kind of has to trade. Is Friday the likely day for this to trade? Yes. Um, but if we get a, a midweek bout of risk off, uh, could trade earlier. One last thing quickly I want to bring up is um, dollar Swiss and Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss, that's a turn bar. Wow. Um, down at 72. Bullish engulfed at the lower end of the range. And what does that mean? It means dollar Swiss can go higher now. And if you, oddly, we talked about this for the last six weeks, the reason dollar Swiss could not go up is because the entire retail world was long dollar Swiss. Weirdly now, the retail world has given up on dollar Swiss. Uh, they're all long silver. Um, they're all long crude. These are the two biggest retail positions from the data that I get. Um, and they've given up on dollar Swiss. And what does that mean? That just means this can go up more easily. I'm not saying it's going to shoot up. I'm not going to shoot the moon here. Um, but you want to look for setups on the top side of dollar Swiss or, you know, more appropriately, I guess, Euro Swiss. Because the dollar Swiss chart is a little bit dirty, right? Um, she's a dirty bird. 9084, we're right there now. There's nothing you can do with it. It's 543 in the morning in London. Uh, but Euro Swiss, um, dare I say it, dare I say it out loud, you can buy the dips here. So try and try and pick up some Euro Swiss between 9717 and, and 97 the figure. Don't worry about Euro Swiss as a hedge for the global uh, implosion or the debt downgrade or whatever the fuck it is. Euro Swiss dances to the beat of the SNB, right? So as inflation goes lower, they let the Swiss franc devalue. As inflation goes higher, they let the Swiss franc appreciate. Um, you know, there's a huge hedge fund called the Swiss National Bank that has has a firm grip on this for now. They'll lose the grip like they always do eventually, but right now they have a firm grip on it. Don't fight the SNB. Um, and inflation has come down here in Switzerland. And there was really no inflation anyway, frankly, because the Swiss franc protected us from it. You know, gas prices literally did not really change here, maybe 20 cents, um, 20 centimes. Anyway, uh, we're buying Euro Swiss today if we get a chance. Last little chart here is Aussie. This is a risk off deal. Uh, you know, it's it's sort of your elementary break trade, right? Selling through the lows even after it's gone lower. If you're going to do this, you need a tight stop. You need discipline. Uh, you need tenacity. Most people don't have that, so if you can't, if if you don't have that, don't trade this way. But we now touch ninety twice get the feeling you're uh, certainly London the London guys are gonna have to click this because <clears throat> all of the people who do think and act like me um, which there are a fair few out there in the FX world uh, will have their eyes on 6490 uh, I'm on the train to Paris today 1230 um, personal business so looking forward to that uh, Roland Garros in action uh, in in Paris, late May. Good time. Good time to be alive, I guess. All right, listen, folks. I will uh, see you. I'll see you Friday. We'll talk about non-farms and see what the fuck's going on there. Good luck today. Catch you later. Ciao.